Hey YouTube, GP here with the unboxing of Mac OS X and the Leopard. Here's the packaging. Basically the Leopard and, you know, it says Mac OS X and the Leopard on the Apple logo. So, uh, sorry for the glare. Um, well, here are, like, the upgrades, I guess. Like, central dispatching, OpenCL, and 64-bit support and whatnot. And, uh, nothing really too much on the side, so... So I do have the plastic wrap off, so just have to open this up. Pull this little tab over here, and should have it says designed by Apple in California. Let me see if I get better lighting. Now nah, I'll leave it on. It is dark out. It's raining outside today, so not the best lighting. Uh, all right, here's the CD. Mac OS X Snow Leopard. By the way, I should mention this is only for Intel Max, no power PC support on this. And a uh, booklet with all the features and whatnot, I guess. And nothing else in the packaging. And of course, and a few Apple stickers, there we go. Well, now I will install Leopard on a mid 2007. Intel Core 2 Duo, 2 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of RAM, with only 3 addressable, I think, Mac Mini, and my display in screensaver mode. Let me just quit out Safari, and everything else should be quit out. Alright, so, I will insert the disk, and here's the CD. Now you have optional installs, instructions, and install Mac OS X. I will just click that, double click that. To set up and install, to set up the installation of the Leopard, click continue. So I'll do, I will click continue. I don't know if you can see it, guys. The agreement, uh, all right, I'll agree. Yes, Macintosh HD, install. Install my password. Just press enter there. Installing Mac OS 10 on the Macintosh HD it says about 45 minutes. And I remember when I was installing Snow Leopard, uh, I mean Leopard Mac OS 10.5 on my iBook, it was going to take about what, like an hour and a half, maybe two hours to install Snow Leopard, I mean Leopard. So Snow Leopard, about half the time to install basically. Only about maybe an hour now it says. So definitely, a, it's definitely a quicker install than Mac OS 10.5 Leopard. So 10.6 is definitely a little quicker as they said I believe. So I'll pause the video and We'll come back in about an hour or whatever. So yeah, peace. Something's happening, guys. Installing, guys. Installing. Oh, uh, we're into the Mac OS 10 installer. The Mac OS 10 installer, guys. Oh my god. The installation is complete. And we're just going to hit restart. There's the Pong, or whatever. The Apple Pong, whatever you want to call it. Apple logo. Ah, blue screen of death. Nah, just kidding. It's probably just loading up to the login password because I do have a password on here. Yeah.
is my doc. Originally how I had it, I believe. All my applications are on there. Setup Assistant is up. The menu bar did not load yet. So we'll just wait for that. Uh, there's the menu bar. There's the intro. So it says, thank you, back up your computer, what time machine, browser files, with overflow and finder, email with style and mail, chat using effects and, and backdrops in uh, iChat, and organize your work with spaces, basically. Let's hit continue. And basically everything's back to normal, how you had it. All my folders are here. All my applications are here, with a new QuickTime X player. And the new scroll feature. I will get more into the features hopefully with a new video. And so that's it, guys. And let me just show you one more thing. And Mac OS 10.6, 2 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, 4 GB of RAM. And it says Mac Touch HD as my startup disk. Peace, guys.